Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at the brand new doodle that they have just added, Rip Torvent. Now, I'm very excited to give this thing a shot because it's honestly a very, very interesting doodle and I really want to see how it can perform. I don't think it's going to be that good, but I think it could be pretty decent if it is used right. So, here I got used crayon so I can just be bulky and have health come back. Or healing every turn, you know? A health and attack is just making me bulky and do damage, which is really nice and levitate which makes me immune to damaging earth type attacks meaning i can wall stuff like rotera which i'm very happy about i'm a electric type that walls rotera and that's really nice and we also have here we have sharpen electro slash savage blow and jet strike basically we're trying to just sharpen and then deal damage all around and if you wanted to use like shock therapy here if you can um but i'd recommend sharpen because it's just good on something that is slow bulky and it's gonna be able to take a lot of hits and it does have quite a lot of weaknesses and not that many resistances it's really good at beating um bug types like antenna flight it's gonna be able to hard counter so you're not worried about antenna flight and it's able to just be bugs basically if you're worried about bug types this thing will just deal with them easily because you can just sharpen up and then i like i like having priority with a sharpen on a slow thing because it can just do a lot of damage which is really really nice then here we have feathered hats stone knuckles and pizza slice basically i went i basically i just went all in on the bulky slow thing and honestly let's just see if it works out i'm curious but before we get into it i want to go ahead and actually show you guys these stats because i got a feeling some of you guys are gonna want to see them i think it's it, as again we have 81 hp 102 attack 99 defense 93 magic attack 88 magic defense and 47 speed it's very average i think i think it should it should if you want it to be better it should have some magical attack taken away and then ha have it be put into mana attack or health but yeah hope everyone enjoys and let's just hop right into it okay and here we go into the first battle the great part about this fight is that there's a rotera so the chances of them leading off with it and not realizing that i'm levitate could be really really big right and that could put me in a really really good spot unless it's a heat bash which could actually just one shot me um i really do like how strong it can be here um yeah i i do like it they almost they can't really beat it because uh it's a cool thing it's an electric type with levitate so it's able to avoid um earth type attacks so i, I find that really cool um i'm gonna lead off it Let's see what happens rotera yep okay now my hope is that they are gonna go for a shatter and not realize that i'm levitate because they could totally do that because i don't actually have a thing that can beat rotera in this game i brought rip dorbent to do that so i didn't bring my voltatu so let's find out can i beat can i beat rotera's Oh, it is heat bash. Oh. Why? Why do I even open my mouth anymore? Why do I open my mouth? Why? Well, I, I just shouldn't open my mouth anymore. Unless it's one shots, but I don't think it's going to. I, I You would think you would. I mean, normally they would heat bash if they had it. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, great start. Okay. Here we go. There's another Rotera. I feel like okay, I got this this time. I'm not gonna instantly die to the Rotera. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be dumb. You know, maybe if I do the same thing and expect a different result, it'll work, right? They're gonna go Rotera. Yeah, see. Now they're gonna shatter, right? They would shatter, right? They're gonna shatter, right? 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 I can sharpen for free, right? They're gonna shatter. They see. They see the green arrow of shatter. They're gonna do it and. Why do I expect anything to go my way when I do these these showcases? Nothing ever will go my way when I do them. And if I die in one hit here... Okay, again? Okay, I'm realizing something. I think I, I've, I've learned my lesson. To, to not do it on Roteros, because I think maybe they have a brain now. And I don't like that Roteros are getting brains. That's never been something I've, I've liked. So... Um, let me go this, this time. Uh, let's not deal with the Rotera. Okay, they instantly go Abyssant. Um, okay. So, my counter to you is what? I'm gonna take out, you're gonna Fin Slash, right? Yeah. Yeah, they Fin Slash here. They would Fin Slash. Uh, yeah, this is a Fin Slash, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna kill in. 
I mean, I'm walled by it if I go kill in. No, I gotta go spring. I don't like that. I don't like tanking it. Oh. Never mind. It was an icy bite. <laughs> was that... Okay. Maybe I just don't have a brain right now because it's late. But... I don't really see why you would do that, mister. We don't have a switch into this, so... You're not killing me there. Unless I don't hit this and I die. Which I don't, so I get the one shot on that. Okay, not bad. Our Springling died instantly, but luckily it didn't do that much this game. So I'm not mad, but I'm severely disappointed. Okay, uh, that is... Uh, how do I beat that? Uh oh. I don't really. Uh, let me go into Glubby. I think Glubby can beat it, right? Glubby's got Siren Song. I think we can beat this thing. Okay, no. That... Yeah, that, that actually didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Uh, let me Siren Song. They might... I'm not sure what they're going to do. They go switch probably to Hollow Hair. If they go into Spec. Do I get did I get the Sleep? No Sleep? Okay. Uh, you're going to Crystal Cut. You Crystal Cut every time. You can go into you, which resists it. But, oh wait, yeah, this can actually fully wallet, I think, right? Unless he disarms me, which would be very annoying. Shatter. Yup, there it is. Okay. Very, very nice. And now I can go for the Sharpen. Let's go for it. The Torbent. It's a Crystal Cut. I shouldn't do that much. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I, th I thought Electric Resisted Crystal. I'm gonna go insane using this thing. I'm gonna go insane. You know, maybe... Uh, I'm very mad. What is... How do you even use this thing? Let me see how much... Let me see what this will do. Okay. 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 I am here <laughs> for my next attempt at not letting it die in the first turn it's sent in. Okay, I just need to know what the heck it's weak to. Because I'm not really paying attention to that. I probably should pair this thing to water type. Um, but I guess having Taruma to beat fire types is my best option. Um, let me go with a Grufflin lead. As they go with their own Grufflin lead. Okay, so... I don't... Oh, that's the five star one. And they got theirs first. So they're getting the faster pivot. So I get the slower one. They hit and run, whereas I take out. So they might go into Cerebopod thinking like, oh my god, I'm just going to take this take out. That, or hit and run, that'd be nice. Because they, they could realistically only go into... Okay, as they go into that, that's really good for me. That takes a lot of chip on that. Um, And this is something that we are actually completely walled by for going to Rip Torment. So, let's go into you. And... I guess I can just rumbling. I mean, they can go back into the pear tree. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if they hit and run, I get to go. Well, no. I'm gonna rumbling on their hit and run. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of obvious. That was kind of obvious. So I get to hit, I get to my rumbling charge off here, which will allow me to hit the most useless thing possible. I'm assuming that it's crayons, so it's gonna get its health back. Just in a situation. Yeah, okay, so... How do I beat this? I can go Glubby, but I don't really have anything to beat it with. Let me go Glubby, though. I mean, they're gonna go Clang on Glubby, right? They would always go Clang on Glubby. I get Siren Song. I definitely si- No, I Siren Song here, because they're gonna go Clang. Yeah, they always go clang. Let me Siren Song. Can they get to the sleep? Aw. Um. Okay. I can go into Retorvent just so I don't die to the Shatter. Okay, now they're gonna try Elemental Slash. I can go into you. Now 
Now the question of the day is, can I like beat this? That's the question of the day is, will they let me hit it? Or will they just go into pear tree? Okay, so they're kind of the player that will just predictively do stuff. So right now they're not gonna do that. They're gonna stay in and they're gonna go for like food fight. They wouldn't hit and run. Makes no sense. I mean, it does make sense. Okay, so they're, they're the player that's just, oh, sick my ethereal. Huge, dude. Ethereal busted. <laughs> One in 10 to avoid every attack. I mean, realistically, they would just go back into clang, right? Because they're kind of the player that just plays the obvious game. I really need to Ruma alive to beat this. Wait, why? I can put you to sleep and the game's over, buddy. Um, you're in a dark blast. And I don't really like that that much. Let me belch. And let me see how well I take this. Oh my god, I take that well. Not anymore. Okay, um... I do get the Spadef lower, which I really did not need them to get. Rip Torvent can't come in because of Soul Fire. Hmm. Okay, this is a weird situation because they're going to Dark Blast every time. I either sack Glubby and don't really switch in on the Grufflin. Hmm. I know they're going to Dark Blast. So the question is, is who do I go into? I'm gonna have to, I think I have to go into you. I'm gonna have to do go into this. As they get another Spadef lower, okay. And I'm gonna quick strike it here, just so I can like guarantee I hit it. As they probably just go back into, yeah, they go into Pear Tree. I really don't know why they keep going into this every single time. Cause if, what if I could Shield Bash? I think there's like a thousand percent there if I could Shield Bash. So, they're gonna hit and run, um, and then go probably into their Klingatang. They just keep looking hit and run. Uh, I can play Kill Intel. I'm gonna play Kill Intel. Because... Uh, let's see, actually. My plan might not work here. i probably just go into Moss, I would assume. Moss makes the most sense to me. Let me go into. Yep. Okay, so... I'd love it if I could disarm, but I can't really. We go to sling. Rust. Now this is definitely gonna Kona cold me, I assume. This would definitely if it if it has Kona cold, it's gonna Kona cold me, right? Oh yeah, that's that has to be Kona cold, right? Am I gonna die? No. Okay. Oh my God. Nice, that damage is huge, dude. Okay, I get to Leaf Blade for free. I really, th I think at this point, I mean, I can't. Playing? No, that's taking a lot. That kills? Bro, Sprinkling is busted. <laughs> uh, Leaf Blade Sprinkling is so good. So good. They go into their own springling. Uh, that is very weird for me. Yeah, that's odd. Um, I'm gonna go Glubby, because they're gonna quick strike. Now it's, I don't tank Leaf Blade, so I guess I just belch if I can. I doubt it. Go Ooga Booga, my belch doesn't work. Okay. Um. I can't really beat this, and if I could sharpen, I, honestly, I need to kill this. Yeah, they try, they don't go for the obvious play. If I Siren, right, and I get it low, I think that's in range for me to beat it with, with Torvent. Okay, um, let me go Taruma. And they're gonna go Moss here, right? So, and I don't really want to be in that position where they go Moss. So I can go you, or where they just sack it because they know they're dead. They just sack it because they know they're dead. Okay. Okay, that actually opens up uh, a rip, rip Torvent then. That opens up Rip Torvent really well, actually. Oh my god, it actually does. All I do now is go to Rip Torvent, and then um, do I outspeed Cerebopod? <laughs> 
That's a good question. I mean, I'm, I think I'm dead to this. Let me just... Actually, I, don't, I think I tank Leaf Blade. Not Leaf Blade. Oh, Quick Strike. I might. I'm dead to that, though. Actually, I'm not. Okay, nice. I, I should get the kill on that. Now, what I'm hoping that they do here is they go Moss and go for the kill. No, they go Kronos. No, they go Kronos. They go Kronos. And they go Moss. Wait, that's literally perfect. I can go rip Torment now and sharpen on it. And then that's where I gotta hope my Savage Blow does enough to kill it. Because then if I if I Savage Blow, no, Electro Slash, and then um, okay, perfect. Now I can go to Rip Torment. Rip Torment is weird, honestly. I died three times to Rotera, and then I don't know, dude. I don't really like it so far. Maybe it's just because Rotera exists. Let me sharpen up. Say Sakura. Hopefully that doesn't do a lot. That doesn't do much at all. I do get confused immediately, and I... Okay, I don't hit myself, which is really good. Um, now I'm going to go for my Electro Slash, and this should be able to clean up the game and win win me the game. Um, so let's go for it. Uh, Electro Slash. I have to just hope that I don't hit myself, because I would die if I do. Okay, yeah. I gotta hit... I actually, oh, nice! I killed it! <gasps> yes! Okay. Nice! I snapped out of it, too, immediately. Nice! That's dead. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think you'd use this thing on Reverse Singularity. I think is what you'd use with this thing. A Levitator on Reverse Singularity. Could pair well with uh, Cerebopod if you're Reverse Singularity. This... I don't think Jet Strike can kill it, but I'll still click it because it's the option I can go for. Yeah, it doesn't kill it. That, is, that shouldn't kill me either. Yeah, I'm tanky. Now Springling, which Springling also wins the game here. Let me Jet Strike one more time. I don't know. This thing is weird because 103 attacks are not enough to be that strong. I don't think it's going to be used on Trick Room based teams. So... Okay, let me go for my Jet Strike. This should be able to take it out. Hope If it doesn't take it out, I'm going to be, like, mad. Okay, good. It did take it out. With a crit. It might have mattered. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Anyway, let's hop into the next one. Okay. Here we go to the next one. If this is another Heat Bashing Rotera, I'm going to go insane. Because I am not enjoying Rotera right now. Like, in the slightest. It's heat bash. Doesn't this die in one hit of its heat bash? Yeah, it will. Mmm. Rotera's fun, Right? We love Rotera. Oh, it's gonna yarn snare immediately? This is the one time I decided to remove, um, shifting winds, right? Just to try something else out. And then I have to fight yarn snare, right? The literal one time I decide to, to switch it up. It's just gonna immediately yarn snare. Unless it's not yarn snare. Um. I thought I clicked takeout. I'm tired. Um. Let me sylph it. Oh, they have Grodo. Oh. Oh, great. They have Grodo. I did not realize they had Grodo. And I missed as well, so I'm gonna die. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yay, I missed. Okay. Uh. Kill Intel's needed, I think, this game. Sylphid would make me outspeed this, right? I think. I would assume so. Sylphid would make me outspeed it. Yeah. That does not have. It probably does have 110 speed, actually. I mean, realistically, you would switch into, like, Grodo. Yeah, yay, Grodo, yay! We love Grodo! It's balanced, right? I have Blubby, so I'm not worried about it, but still, I hate Grodo. I'm mad that I showcased it, too. Okay, there it is, the fatten up. Watch this be the focus one that can hit you. Watch this be focus. Let me belch, just so I can poison it. Nice, get the poison, the Vixalor. That's gonna vague Vortex, though. So I wanna be very careful over that. I can go Taruma, maybe. 
in the vague vortex. We go Taruma. Taruma could put in some huge work, actually. They flashbang, okay. Odd on flashbang on Vixalor, to be honest. Let me shatter. Because I think that would kill rather than just give me a speed boost. They probably just go Rotera. Which means I probably gotta click Shield Bash. Right? No, they just Psycho. I just oh, that I take that super well. And I just shatter and get to kill you, so. Nice. I get the kill on the Vixlor, I guess, so. Nice! <laughs> They're probably just gonna go into Polar Geist, though, which allows me to go and kill Intel. So. Yeah, let me go into Kill Intel now. Probably they're gonna go into the. Yeah, they go into Road. It's fine. Let me just flashbang then. And I swear if it's Heat Bash, I'm gonna go insane. Okay, good. Now I get to click Savage Blow, which should do a lot of damage. Yeah, it is Heat Bash. But of course it's Heat Bash. Oh, come on. I don't get to kill it now, do I? I don't get to kill it now. I gotta go Taruma now and Quick Strike it, which would get me the kill on it, which is nice. Let me go. I can definitely. I need to keep this around to sharpen and try to kill Grodo, I think. I need to. Oh, and I get burned immediately. <laughs> immediately burned. Okay, nice. So far, they've gotten two burns that mattered. I can. I just quick strike anyway. Yeah, that would have killed. Unfortunate, dude. Unfortunate. They even crit me. <laughs> Oof, dude. Okay. I didn't really need this. I really only had it for, like, dealing with Dineko, which I can still deal with with Kill Intel. Kill Intel honestly kills, like, all of his team, so. I just have to beat this, basically. Um, let me go Kill Intel. I'm gonna try to predict what he's gonna do here. I'm gonna flashbang. I mean, I really... He would just disarm. It's the worst thing he can do. Which puts me in a weird spot with Gineco and Polar. So I can't really get disarmed here. I'm gonna go Glubby. I feel like Glubby's the most useless thing here. It really only walls the Grotto. So... As they curse and they miss the curse. Okay, I'm very glad I swapped now. Let me Siren Song. I am gonna go down here. Yo, the Ethereal coming in clutch. Ethereal broken. <laughs> oh, the Glubby's busted, dude, with the, the Ethereal. Misfortune. Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I beat you anyway, dude. I have Hex, too. Let me, just belt, let me Hex, then. I mean, you can go Grotto if you want. I'm just gonna Belch afterward. I should do nothing. Because I just get the one-shot on it, which is nice. Hex, let's go! Okay, I am actually confident I can tank this. But I'll have to... No, wait. I, if I take it, I can just win immediately. All I need to do is once I belch this, he's on a timer. So... And now he's on a timer. Yeah, he literally can't hit me. He literally cannot hit Glubby. So this battle's gonna end one way or another. So all I need him to do is to proc um as soon as he clicks um what's it? He's gonna sack the uh actually go into that. Now that doesn't have its uh ice stream anymore, which is nice. Which means I can click hex. Which will take this thing down. Ethereal! <laughs> Ethereal busted. I need to have that awake, so. Um. Actually, no. No, I don't. I don't need to have Glubby awake. I don't need, uh, you. 
Unfortunately, I don't need the Riptorbent. So I can just sack it. I'll probably do one more battle with it. Um, It's so weird to me. I would outspeed it, right? No, I definitely outspeed it. It's not 174 speed. That does not have enough speed to outspeed me. Because it, it uses Ice Tree Max special attack. I would assume high special attack. It, this, this can outspeed. I also have higher base speed than it, so I outspeed it. Watch him have Jet Strike. Oh, I don't want to risk that. No, 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 no. I'm not risking the Jet Strike. No, 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 no. Like, I'm not risking that. Yeah, I was not risking that. GG's. Good game. Okay. Here we go. Into the final duel of of our lifetime. Let's see how strong this thing can really be. I, this will be the final test. So we will see how strong it really is. I... It's a Grodo, Klangatang. It's got everything I don't want to deal with. So let's find out. You're going to lead with Grufflin, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. I know your tricks. You're going to go Grufflin. Yeah. Then you're going to go into your, 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 your Klangatang. Yeah. I can Siren Song. And I can put your Klangatang to sleep. Which, in the end, will be beautiful for me. Right? I get to sleep, right? Right? Whoa! Whoa! Why? Why did they do like a thousand damage? What? I'm walled. Uh. Don't try elemental slash. <laughs> don't try elemental, right? You wouldn't do that, right? Gorgeous. Okay. Uh, take out is free. Like, free, 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 free. It should actually be able to kill this thing. Much damage I did with Siren Song. Though it's an entirely different defensive spectrum. So let's see. We shall see. Let's find out. He's sure taking his time here. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna send it in. Now, would I one shot if I sharpened? I don't think so, but I'm gonna click Electro. If they go Clang, well, that's not gonna be very fun. And then we'll try Elemental Slash, then I gotta go to Ruma, then I just gotta Shield Bash, or Rufflin. So, so, let's just see. Can I hit this or will you let me? I doubt it'll let me, so. Roto. Okay, solid. Solid damage. That was plus two that did like a thousand, so. Uh, Glubby. <laughs> Immediately. Ah. <sighs> belch. Immediate belch. No reason not to. So there goes the Noxious, which is, uh, that's no good. That's not good. <laughs> Uh oh. Um, kill Intel. And he wouldn't click Reckless Charge, right? Uh, flashbang immediately. I really need to kill this. You're, you, he's gonna Reckless here. He would Reckless Charge in his position at this current moment in time. So if I went back into Glubby, right? But I need Glubby. I need Kill Intel for Koryu. I mean, do I? 
Uh, that entirely depends if Rip Torment could beat Core you in a fight, which it could if it could. Can't Savage Blow though. I'd have to Electro, then Quick Strike with Spring, they could kill. So, in conclusion, I will just award a Flash Hope I tank it. Okay, I took it pretty well. But it's definitely, yeah, it's the, it's the life. It's the Magic Guard one. Um. Do it again. Okay, now the question is, I don't outspeed an Ammo Trap Fly one, right? I definitely don't, because it's 99 speed. 99 speed will get it up to a 119 plus Ruby. And I think on this... No, I will die. I, something I, I have is going to die regardless of what I do. So, I mean, if Grufflin dies, I think that's my best option. Oh, sick. Wait, go Kel? Wait, okay. I mean, okay, sick. Um, I'll take that. Uh, I mean, I can't go Glub. I guess I just go Springling. I mean, Leaf, you have no real good plant resist, so. I'll Leaf Blade, which I can kill the Grufflin right after, so. I mean, right now, Springling is insanely threatening to him. Holy crap. This is a very big threat that he needs to deal with. That's taking 50%, dude. Taking a lot. God. Would Quick Strike kill it? Hmm. Do I need to find out? I can just go Glubby, so. You're gonna feast? I assume going to Noxious, right? Yeah. I mean, I'll just kill it this time. I'm gonna give him a little time before I make my move. Now he's gonna think I went into Kalinto because I took time. And then he's gonna Reckless Charge. Because I took time, right? Well, sometimes I'm incorrect. But I can just rest on Grodo. I just switch in on Grodo and rest, so I'm not worried about that. It's really up to how I'm gonna go into Grodo. Um. I can go you. I don't know how I'm gonna beat the monkey. If he try elementals, I'm just dead, so. Which he did. Oh, he just iron slash. That just kills straight up. Okay, that's probably like that's offensive monkey. Okay. Uh, let me go into you. You're switching into kelp, and I know you are. You're gonna go Grufflin, right? Yeah, they <laughs> It was up to like Kelp or Grufflin and I should have went with my gut initially. I guess how do I beat this exactly? I gotta go Keelan. Like I have to go Keelan. So Nox just did too much damage to my team. Well, good news is he can't really switch on Aurora Flash without going Grodo. Which then lets me get Glubby in on the field. So I, I'll just Aurora on the on the Grodo. Now, he knows I have Glubby, and he knows it fully walls him. He take the, he uses to his advantage, and he would go into Klingatang. So, my... I want Aurora Flash again. Right? You 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 know I have Glubby, and it walls you. You know I have Glubby. You you would... Yeah, you're switching back into Klang. Or Kel... Oh, sick! Nice! Well, Springling still looks super good right now, dude. Everything still looks super strong. I get to get another free Aurora Flash off. We can go back into Grotto. Just oh, Grufflin actually. This is most likely gonna take me out. They're saving Koryu for the late game, which oh, I don't really know how I'm gonna be the Koryu. I need a Flashman Keelan, so I can't sack that. They're gonna go Clang. I don't know how to beat the Clangatang at the moment, dude. I don't think I can beat the Clangatang. As they go Koryu. That doesn't kill me, though. 
Can't I just, uh, Electro Slash? What was Electro? This does a lot. This should do a lot to him. Yeah, and he's lethal. Hopefully this, this does a lot, right? Oh! The crit! <laughs> we needed that dead, too. We needed that dead. Ah, that's nice. That's good that we killed that. We did need that dead. Oh my god, let me jet strike. Yo, let me get this kill. Let me pick this up. Oh, let's go! Two kills, okay. There we go, that's what we're looking for with Rip Torvent. As they go into Clangatang, and that gets me my switch into Taruma, which lets me shatter for free. And I beat the Grodo with Glubby, so I'm never worried about that. Yeah, now I can I can just shatter on the kelp every single time. And it will never really matter. Yeah, now that he sacked this, I can actually probably win with Rick Maybe. I mean, in the end, I'm just going to come down to me stalling out Glub the Grodo, so. Because Grodo literally can't hit me, so it would be like a PP stall match. No, I need to go Springling, and could I counterpunch it? No, Shibash, would, Shibash wouldn't kill me, right? I kind of want to try to counterpunch the Grodo. Because even though it's resisted, the more damage I get on it, the better, because then I can beat it with Glubby. You know? I that's, think that's my best option, is that I could try the counterpunch with Springling. Even at plus two, I don't think Grodo would, could tank that well, you know? I want to try counter punch either way, so. Because if they shield bash, which I could definitely see them shield bashing here, because they know if they fatten up, they'd be forced to rest, you know? Let me try it. Let me counter punch. Let me try it. I want to see if this works. Shield bash, please, shield bash. Don't, don't fatten up. Click shield bash. Come on. Please click, please click it. Ugh, they're going to do this to me. You're lame. You are a lame individual. Hope you know that. You're a lame individual. There's a the shield bash. Oh, who knew he'd go for shield bash in the last second? Who could have guessed that? I don't want to freaking... Oh, it's going to be stalling this thing out. Oh my god. I don't want to do this. Do you really want to do this? Maybe he doesn't have heal on it because it got heal got removed. So there might be a good chance he has do nothing right now. You know, I could risk the fact it's do nothing. I mean, you... You can't hit me, right? Let me rest just in case. I swear, if he rests, I'm gonna be upset. I mean, you literally can't deal damage to me. Ah. <sighs> Grodo got buffed because of the... Because of rest. Gotta love it. I hate Grodo. Do you hate Grodo? Yes, we do. We hate Grodo. I'm glad he sees no point in clicking heal. That makes me happy that he doesn't he doesn't want to do that. You know, maybe there's a chance we move for Torvent. Ah, <laughs> uh, good game though. Good, good game. And with that being said, it's going to end off this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. If I'm going to be honest, I feel like it has good stats, but it's just on the wrong doodle. Like, eh, no. This typing used defensively, it sucks. It really seems like Wish is going for like a bulky attacker, but it needs help. I think it, if it got a, a water move from printing, I think it'd be a lot better. Because this slot is just filled. I think it needs um, an earth or a water move. Um, 
which would definitely help it with its situation of being walled by earth types and like any 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 it's walled by like a lot of stuff so i don't i would not recommend trying this out but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you for the next one bye bye